convenience. This Labor Day week, we've been looking at jobs that have great pay that might really surprise you. And they don't take seven years of med school or something like that to get. So we went behind the scenes at the Atlanta Motor Speedway to check out the ups and downs, not the round the track, the elevator technician. So next in our Great Job, Great Pay series is elevator technician. Who would guess that having these go up and down all day long is big money? Pretty much through the whole country, it's a union job. That's correct. So what is an average starting salary? The average salary, that includes helpers, apprentices, mechanics, is about $65,000. $65,000. Let's say you're working for 10, 15 years. You're really good, and you pick up a lot of other skills. You're looking at 100,000 plus. What do you think about, like, the guy who works in the Eiffel Tower? I don't know, but I'd like to have that job. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the reasons it takes four to five years. You have to learn the terminology. Type of controller here, you can actually take a laptop and run the elevator with the laptop. I'm able to uh, go through, and I can actually change parameters. If you could have your own elevator, would you make it super fast? Probably. Being on the top of the elevator, it's kind of like going to Six Flags. Do you ever go all Tom Cruise and just climb up and around? No, I sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny for him, but I'm dreaming about it. They would not let me go all Six Flags, Christy, and ride Come up and down on. on the top of the elevator. But uh, it's four to five years of training, but that's as an apprentice, meaning you get paid for that. And did you hear him? After a few years and a couple of extra skills, more than $100,000 a year. You can find out more about it, hlntv.com slash Robin. And tomorrow, a job for anybody with a head for math. Love it. All righty, Jen.